By the end of the year, Poorhouse Bistro plans to have its beignets, business, and building packed up and ready to go. The beloved New Orleans-inspired eatery will make the big half-mile move to Little Italy, rebranding as Familia Maduri's Poorhouse Bistro. I'm calling this uh, Poorhouse Bistro Part 2, and it's just another chapter uh, that we're going to enter, and, and I, I really, truly believe it's going gonna, it's gonna to be better. Owner Jay Maduri opened doors along Autumn Street in 2005, transforming his grandparents' home into a popular pregame hangout, only steps from the SAP Center. It currently sits on land purchased by Google as the tech giant prepares for its massive downtown west development. You know, uh, I had ideas of possibly maybe being in the Google Village, but uh, the re realistically, it's going to be a 10-year build-out here. Scott Neese with the San Jose Downtown Association says keeping the 100-year-old home and business in the area upholds the city's legacy. If you think about what makes the heart and soul of a city, it's businesses like Poorhouse Bistro that have a unique character. They employ uh, local workers, local artists and musicians and bands, and that is what people remember the journey will be quite the spectacle, similar to the Palace and Apartment move in late March. Maduri hopes it'll be reminiscent of Mardi Gras. The direction we'll be going up is Montgomery to Santa Clara to Autumn to St. John. And get this, this won't be the first time the building will be making a move. Maduri's grandparents actually took the building from next to San Jose State in the 1950s to this location here. In San Jose, I'm Amanda Del Castillo, ABC 7 News.